let's mod a PS3. We're going to be installing HIN, which is compatible with all PS3s, which we're going to follow this guide on PSX Place. You'll need a PS3 and a flash drive. Now before we start, HIN is great, but if you can install custom firmware, uh, go that route instead. I've got a playlist link right here where you can uh, check out the steps to do that. First we're going to go to Rufus.ie, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to download the tool. And we'll put the flash drive in the computer. Then in Rufus, we're going to select the tool, we're going to select it as non-bootable, MBR, FAT32, and set a cluster size of 32 kilobytes. And we'll run the tool. Then inside the flash drive, we're going to create two folders. We're going to start with this PS3 folder, and then an update folder inside the PS3 folder. Then at this link in the video description, we're going to scroll down, we're going to see the hybrid firmware download link. We're going to right click on it, press save link as, and we're going to download the firmware. If for some reason it has trouble downloading it, just go into your downloads, and you're going to go over to the right side here, press the three dots, and press download and secure file. Once the firmware is done downloading, we're going to rename it to ps 3 updatepup and then we're going to take the firmware file, and we're going to put it inside the update folder on the flash drive. Then we'll put the flash drive in the PS3, then we're going to go to settings, system settings, and we're going to make sure that automatic updates are turned off. After that, we're going to scroll down until we see display what's new, and we're going to make sure it's turned off as well. This would also be a good opportunity to scroll down to the bottom and check out the system information. We're going to look at it and check our system software version. I'm doing this video on version 4.91. After that, we're going to go to settings, system update, and we're going to start installing the hybrid firmware. We'll select update via storage media. If it detects the hybrid firmware, we're going to select yes, and it'll start moving the firmware files over. Now, if your system runs into any trouble here, we're going to go ahead and shut it down entirely, and we're going to boot it into safe mode. From the system powered off, we're going to go ahead and press the power button, and we're going to keep holding it until the system shuts down. And then we're going to press and hold the power button until the system beeps twice, and then we'll release it. And once we're in safe mode, we're going to connect our PlayStation 3 controller over a mini USB cable and press the home button to connect it. And we'll scroll down to system update. With the flash drive connected, we're going to press select and start at the same time, and then it'll start prepping the update. And once we see this menu, we're going to press the PS button on the wireless controller. We're going to press right on the D-pad. We're going to press accept, and we'll press right again, and we'll press X. And then it's going to start installing the hybrid firmware. And after the install completes and the system reboots, you're running hybrid firmware. Next, we're going to go to settings, network settings, and we're going to make sure that the PS3 is connected to the internet via either Wi-Fi or an Ethernet connection. After that, we're going to open the internet browser. Then we're going to press triangle to open up the settings. We're going to go to tools. We're going to go down to confirm browser close, and we're going to turn it off. Then we're going to go back to tools. We're going to go to home page. We're going to select use blank page, and then we're going to press OK. Then we're going to go back to tools. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, and we're going to press delete on all of these options here. After that, we're going to press circle to exit out of the browser, and we'll open up the browser again. Then we'll press start so we can input a URL. Then we're going to type in HTTP colon port slash port slash PS3 exploit dot me, and we'll press start to go to the website. After the page loads, we're going to press select and add to bookmarks. Then at the top of the page, you're going to see PS3 hint. We're going to go ahead and select it, and we're going to select HIN Auto Installer. And after we select the auto installer, it's going to download this PS3 HIN file. We'll press circle when it completes. Once we come to this page, we're going to press select and add to bookmarks, and we're going to press circle to exit out of the browser. We're going to open up the internet browser again, then we're going to press the select button, and we're going to open up the PS3 HIN auto installer. Now, when asked if you want to download this uh, PS3 HIN file again, go ahead and select override and save, and when it completes, we'll press circle. Then we're going to see this auto install HIN button, we're going to press X on it, and then it's going to go through a variety of downloads, getting PS3 HIN set up. And just make sure you're pressing circle after each one completes, and then it's going to jump into the uh, next part. And at some point, it's going to notify you that, hey, I'm about to reboot the system, and it's going to reboot it. After the system reboots, you're going to see this enable HIN button, but before we activate it, we're going to reboot the system. And after the system reboots, we're going to go ahead and press enable HIN, and we'll see it going through this process to start up HIN. And then we'll get a notification up here at the top when it's up and running. And if you see these new folders pop up in the game menu and in the network menu, then hey, HIN's up and running. And now you're set up to install all kinds of different homebrew, and if you want to get a taste of that, again, there's a playlist right down here that goes over all kinds of different things, but in the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, share, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.